welcome to grade 10 visual arts. Uh, this is going to be a much more intensive course than what you've had in the past because we're really laying down the foundation for some of the skills that you may want to use uh, if you decide to continue on to do IB visual arts. And the exciting part about it is that you get to create some amazing artworks that are going to be really driven by your own interpretation of a concept. In grade 10, we'll be working much more with art history and how to be informed by art history in the creations of our own artworks to recognize and articulate the difference between um, more abstract and realistic artworks and the conceptual nature of them and realize the process in which they have evolved. We'll be understanding better the cultural context by which art is created and art historical works are created and how that influences the interpretation of those works. Uh, you'll be conducting some research and building on ideas. And overall, you're going to be developing a lot more proficiency with a variety of materials and how to use them and execute them in different ways. And all of that will be documented on your process portfolio. And this will be a digital portfolio, and that will be a running record of your progress. And the main idea is that you're going to be able to initiate a complex series of plans and preparations and execution of an artwork and amend those plans as necessary as you problem solve and creatively uh, figure out alternatives to what you're working on. The process, the planning, the reflection and experimentation will be all documented in a sketchbook. You can get the sketchbook either at the school store, order it from Amazon or any uh, local art supply stores or a lot of the uh, smaller like stationary stores. Uh, Summative assessments are our larger art making projects and they will be graded on a one to seven scale and the formative assessments like your work in your sketchbook and some research and uh, reflections will be formative and they will be assessed using these symbols. What you're really aiming for is that slash symbol which means that you completed up to my expectations anything above and beyond would be a plus. Have your sketchbook and your laptop for each class. If you miss a class, it's really important for you to follow up to see what you missed and what you need to possibly see me about or catch up on uh, as soon as you can. All of our resources for our class are kept on campus. This is where you'll find general information about the class, your assessments, and you will also see all the unit planners, including infographics with all of the assessment criteria and instructional videos. So I'm coming to you from your visual arts room, which has these amazing windows, which let in a ton of light. We have a versatile space that we can move uh, tables and chairs around, bring in easels. We have movable walls where we can set up different spaces and create different areas. Plus we got tons of sinks. Uh, so it's an amazing place to work and I hope it will bring as much inspiration to you as it does to me.